guys, girls, cows, chickens, and chupacabras, welcome back to... <laughs> Right then guys, and welcome back once again to another Minecraft or video with me, Jerocraft, and today we're going to continue with the medieval prison interior. Yes, we are. So please guys, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and without further ado, let's begin. Now, if you do remember from the last episode, we had a bit of an issue where we pushed this wall a block too far. Which means that now we have a bit of an issue, which is something I did not realize, okay? Um, it's gonna affect the second floor. Dun dun I don't know what that was about, but guys, it's not a big issue. All you have to do is push this wall back one block. So just remove one, two, three, one, two, three, one and two, one and two, and the iron door as well. And just place it a block further in. Simple as that. No issue whatsoever. Now the only thing is that outside it might look a bit weird. So to fix this just add some cobblestone wall right in each corner over here and then you can add maybe some cobblestone slab across the top just to make this look slightly nicer and don't forget to add the lever there as well. So that is pretty much the issue fixed. We're going to continue now with the second floor try and make as much progress as we can. So one block beside each of the staircase uh, blocks. Okay, <laughs> so that's one. We're gonna leave one block gaps as we go along this edge and do the same on this side. And then you're gonna fill up the gaps using some cobblestone wall. So one, two, three, four, and five. And over here, one, two, three, four, and five. The counting begins. Don't you just love this? Joy, joy. Cobblestone slab right across this top edge or stone brick slab, whatever you prefer. This block is kind of different to this one, isn't it? Isn't it? Let's put some stone brick there instead. And um, let's see. Let me check my map. We've got some cobblestone here as well and then some cobblestone wall. Now, since we pushed back the entrance, we do need to push back this top section as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply just remove this, put some cobblestone slab across here and then I'm just going to fill this in with either some cobblestone or some brick slab. I'm just going to go for cobblestone but I'm going to place full blocks instead. So just full blocks right across here. Nice and simple. Right, so we're going to grab now some cobblestone wall and we are going to place, I believe, it is three blocks. One, two, and three. Or is it two? Hmm. I'll get back to you with that. Okie dokie, guys. It is indeed two blocks. So two blocks of cobblestone wall right on top of each of the cobblestone blocks that we just placed. Nice and easy and straightforward. Yes, indeed. Right, so once you have that done, we are going to grab a mixture, actually, of crackstone brick and stone brick to create a bit of extra detail as we create a square placing the blocks right on top of the cobblestone wall. It's not actually a square. Did I say square? I meant rectangle. Damn you. Damn you. So that is pretty much what it should look like, right? Now we're going to place some extra pillars using some cobblestone and we're going to place them right behind the cobblestone wall. It's going to be one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, hmm, 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 the joys of counting. Same on this side, one, two, three, hmm, 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 yeah. So once you have this done, we're actually going to fill up each of these gaps using some iron bars. So one, two, three, yeah, I'm not going to count this again. Ugh, so much counting. But um, I'm actually getting ready for a Halloween special and I don't think I'm going to have it ready on time. It's so annoying. I want to make like a custom map or something along those lines like I usually do. But I don't think I'm going to have the time unless I can finish it in the weekend. Kind of depends. We'll see. We'll see. Um, we're going to go across this top edge with some stone bricks again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 blocks do the same on this side so bring this all the way across here and now we're going to move back to the front where we have the staircase we're going to grab some cobblestone and again we're going to place one two three stone brick on top 
and again on this side, one, two, three, and stone brick. And right in this corner, we're going to grab a torch, place it right here, just to add some lighting, because it's kind of hidden, because we're going to place, again, one, two, three, and over here, one, two, and three. Why is everything usually in blocks of three? <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of like my building technique. Uh, so yeah, we're going to extend this an extra, let's see, two blocks. One, two, one, two, one, two. Changing it up a bit instead of counting three. <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, three. So um, we're going to create individual prison cells right across here. And we need to do the same on the other side as well. But let's fix this up first because we have this huge gap over here. We're going to remove these two blocks and place a full block right here some cobblestone slab and this if you remember from the show around is where we placed the skull yes so getting ready for Halloween a bit of spookiness spooky spooky and we're gonna add as well right here a trapped chest so let's grab the trapped chest one and two I kind of like the look of this I like it one and two I don't think in a prison though there's gonna be that much gold but that's kind of just the texture over here one two and three and over here as well one two and three and pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this in completely because this is a bit of you know it's empty space it's wasted I don't know guys if you have a better idea you can maybe add some more storage in there I don't know up to you one, two, three, four, and let's go over to the other side. One, two, three, and four. So this is pretty much good, good enough. Moving on, we're going to build the prison cells. So let me just double check with the map once again. Okay, so we have the iron door right here. Um, we have cobblestone. One, two, three, and one. And then bring a wall right across here, and that would be the first prison cell it's kind of small isn't it yes indeed it is quite small but um, to add a window what I did is I used some cobblestone stairs and I kind of like the look of this because it makes a small window right you can even make it this way if you want to look through there kind of depends you can mix and match but let's continue placing the the uh, prison cells. So we've got another prison cell over here. Some cobblestone right through here. And then, let's see, this one's a bit weird. Oh yes, because we don't need the iron bars in the center. Okay, we got two sets of iron bars over here. Empty gap and then two um, sets of iron bars again. And we're going to leave a gap in there and just create a wall because in the gap in the center we're going to place another torch because this is going to light up nicely. So we're going to do the same on this side. Um, let's remove the iron bar. Place some cobblestone. And that is where the lighting is going to be. I have a sore throat. <laughs> so much talking. Um, yeah, it's kind of getting really cold now. It's winter. It's been raining all day today. All day, non-stop. It's been ridiculous, honestly. And I drive to work in my moped, so imagine that. <laughs> okay, we're going to have another iron bar, iron bar, <laughs> iron door right there and create another pr uh, prison cell. Bring some cobblestone right across here. And so far, we have three over here and let's place them on this side as well. So let's fill this in, add the iron door and it's pretty much straightforward you can use your own initiative to where you want to place these blocks you can mix and match you can even add um, the let's see cobblestone stairs you can add one facing down one facing up as long as you don't place them like this because that is really weird make sure you cover up the door it's it's pretty much fine okay we got two more prison cells to make over here so let's just fill this in um, this is actually a, an awkward position. I've got to double check that. But cobblestone through here and iron door. Yes, indeed. Almost done, guys. Almost done. We've got six prison cells. 
we need to place one more. So over here, let's see if I can check my map again. We got... This is complicated. This is this is complicated. Okay, we got cobblestone over here. The torch, again, right here for lighting. And then some more cobblestone. One, two, three. And one, two, three. I really am not a fan of interiors because it takes way too long. There's too much detail involved in interiors. There's a lot of randomization, a lot of random blocks everywhere. And it just makes it really complicated to explain. It makes it very, very long. It makes a very long video. I mean, the last episodio was literally over 30 minutes. And I think this episode is going to be just as long. So just imagine how long it's going to take to make this interior video. Exactly why I don't like doing them. But I think we've made a bit of progress here. So we're going to grab now some stone bricks. And what we're going to do is we're going to pretty much fill this in right up to here. So just basically go filling this in and we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay, so that is one side complete. Do the exact same thing on the other side. So fill this in and bring it all the way across until you reach the other side. So there we go guys, a fair bit of progress, we have the prison cells in and now we need to continue, obviously we need to fix this entire area. Right now guys, this next section of the build gets way too complicated, so complicated, I can't even figure out myself how to copy from the original design, so I've come up with my own plan to basically, you know, come up with my own idea right on the spot. I thought this out and it works much better anyway. So we're going to add cobblestone right here to create an entrance. This is obviously where the staircase is at. And we're going to create an entrance into this tower by removing these two blocks. You can close this off with cobblestone and place two blocks right across the bottom here. And that is a perfect little entrance into the tower. You can add a staircase by removing this block and placing some cobblestone stairs so nice and simple and you can also punch out some windows and now we have all that lovely daylight yes daylight straining my eyes with this darkness but this is much better now and we're gonna might as well you know fix up the other side as well so again we're gonna basically oh why is there a gap here cover that up don't know why that's there but anyway gonna remove the glowstone and we're gonna start <coughs> whoa almost lost my voice remove those two blocks add some cobblestone over here an entrance and that is pretty much it don't forget the stairs right here nice and easy punch out the windows and add the iron bars all that lovely daylight coming straight through perfect so this is now nicely fixed up and now what we're going to do is, okay, we need to fill this in, fill this in with cobblestone, let's create a wall, do the same on the other side, also don't forget to add an entrance here, totally forgot about that, cobblestone to fill this in, and now guys, okay, okay, you know what, we're going to start off with some stone brick, we're going to basically just fill this in completely because this is the level for the next floor. So nice and simple, we're going to bring this all the way across. And you can pretty much fill up the, the entire area, to be honest. Yeah, guys, let's do that. Save a bunch of time. Madre, that is a lot of stone brick, but at least we have a nice guideline to finish off the second floor. I guess each episode is going to be 
a different floor by the looks of it because it's such a humongous building but okay let's continue from this corner now what we're gonna do first is pretty much fill this in with cobblestone so we're gonna bring this all the way across here to cover this up we don't need this excess space and we don't need the glowstone even though we need, we need light but um, right what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this in with cobblestone as well because this simply is too much and since we do have the window there I guess we could leave the window because it gives a bit of light as well so let's continue filling this in and once we have this side done we might as well do the same on the other side now I'm not too sure how far this goes but let's just bring it all the way to the end right so at least we have the wall fixed let's do the same on the other side again so pretty simple I'm gonna time-lapse this cuz there's not much to explain Right guys, there we go. Both sides are perfect. Now we're going to add some extra pillars using some stone brick. So we're going to have a two block gap away from this wall. And we're going to place the pillars right here. One, two, three. One, two, three. We're going to leave one block gaps as we go along. Nice and easy. And we're going to make a bunch of progress now because things get a lot easier now. We're going to add also, let's see, um, okay, we're going to add some cobblestone first, or no, wait, let me think this through, Let, let's, let's go back to the stone brick on the other side, let's add those pillars over here, so two blocks away from the wall, one, two, and three, one, two, three, all the way across, one block gaps as we go along. There we go. We're going to grab some cobblestone stairs and place them upside down in between these gaps. And of course, do the same on the other side. Right guys, seriously, let's see if we can finish off this second floor. There's still so much to do. Um, let's see, we're going to grab some cobblestone slab and we're going to place them right beside the stone brick pillars. Just like that, because... You know, it gives it a bit more extra detail and it looks a lot nicer. We're also going to add slab in between each of these pillars, make it look nicer as well. And then, of course, you can add, you know, some torches, redstone torches, because they look lovely. Look at that. It just makes it look a lot nicer. Um, we're also going to grab some more cobblestone and we're going to place one, two, three blocks across here. We're going to grab some cobblestone wall, place it against the pillar of cobblestone <laughs> and then we're going to grab some more cobblestone and we're going to fill this in all the way until you reach this point where we're going to place some upside down uh, cobblestone stairs so, so there you go that is pretty much it for that side of the building so um, let's do the same over on the other side and you know I'm going to save time I'm going to time lapse this because again you know it's you pretty much just have to copy the other side Finishing off with the cobblestone wall. So there we go. Now there's obviously a huge amount of space here. All you have to do is fill this in with cobblestone as from the top of the doorway. And you can do the same on the other side of the building. This is the back towers, I believe. Is it? Is it? Yes, it is. Yes, indeed. It is the back tower. So just fill this in with some cobblestone. Wow, guys, honestly, I did not expect this building to take so long. It's been over a 20-minute video already, and there's just so much to do still. The third floor and the attic where the... Um, I can't remember what there is actually on the attic. I think it's just a storage or, or some bedrooms. But um, yeah, guys, we're going to continue now. And we need to create the staircase up to the next floor. This is surely where we're going to finish off part two. Right, let's see what we got here. We need some cobblestone and we need some cracked stone brick or some normal stone brick. 
And we're going to place them. Let me look at my map here quickly. Right, we have crack stone brick in the center here. We got some stone brick stairs, which I do not have in my inventory. Joy, we're going to place them right beside the full block. I'm going to grab some cobblestone. And as from this point, we're going to have one, two, three, and four blocks. So do the same on this side. One, two, three, and four. Right, guys, now we're going to make a two block wide staircase, even though the original design actually had a three block wide staircase. And this is simply because, you know, we pushed the wall a bit too far and now things don't really align. But this still works perfectly fine. There's no big deal. Just fill this in with cobblestone to create a platform for the storage room, which is going to be accessed from here. We're going to have two double doors over here. So all we have to do is pretty much raise the cobblestone wall up until you know it reaches the ceiling so this is the front wall we can do the side wall as well just fill this in just like that do the same on the other side uh, fill this gap and what we can do is we, we can raise the staircase up until it reaches the ceiling and you're gonna remove four blocks so one two three four Okay, it's a bit more than four blocks. Uh, just remove these blocks up until you reach this level and you have a nice staircase up to the next floor. Do the same on the other side. Once again, we're going to place the staircase up until it reaches the ceiling and then stand on the staircase, look up and remove two blocks, two, four, six, eight blocks in total. Place the staircase and then make your way into the storage room and we can fill this in using some cobblestone. Two blocks over here create a wall and pretty much all of this space can be used again as a storage room. So it's quite convenient. We can place um, some doors. To place the doors you do need to place some extra pillars over here. So we can place the doors right beside the stairs just like that. Got some wooden doors over here. So there you go. And you can also place some cobblestone wall to make this look slightly nicer. And what I'll do is I will give you a bit of an interior tour of the original building. So you get some tips on the interior. You can also punch out a block right here in the center. Oh, wait. This one, actually. And you can place some uh, redstone torch. So it's right... Wrong block again. This block. There. Basically. <laughs> okay, guys, we're almost done here. Might as well just do a little bit of interior, interior decoration because this section of the build is huge. It's, we've got this... Ow, i got something in my eye. Ow! i got something in my eye. Um, yeah, let's add some brown carpet here. I'm doing this with one eye um, just to give it some, some extra detail. Oh, my... What is that? I think my contact lens has just popped out. <laughs> Okay, we got some brown carpet across here as well. And now we can finish off the second floor with this room that we need to fix. Um, let's remove this, these two blocks of cobblestone. And let's grab some stone brick and fill this in. Not too complicated. Pretty much nice and easy to finish off. And again, I will give you an interior tour in just a second of the original building. Let's remove the blocks of glowstone here. We can place some cobblestone there to make a pillar this is obviously got a bit of a lighting defect as I like to say so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fill this in and although it makes the wall smaller we don't really need that much space but um, you know this is quite decent so let's do the same on the other side we can actually use the staircase why not <laughs> we're gonna fill this in with some stone bricks right across here and then, of course, we are going to finish off with the cobblestone wall. I have to remove the glowstone, cobblestone over here. And I'm not too sure, though, if there's going to be any windows here. But I'm not too sure. I'm going to have to double check. Right, guys. So just to finish off the second floor interior video, I'm going to give you a show around of the original design, which is this one which may be slightly different because, you know, if I were to copy everything block by block, it would take just way, way too long. But this is pretty much straightforward. We have an, a small storage room here by the tower. Um, no big deal there. We have the, you know, 
interiors for the prison cells. We have some carpet there. Some of them might have, I think it might have a cauldron. I'm not too sure. But, you know, it's no big deal. This is the corner and it does not have any windows. So um, that is pretty much it. You know, you can easily improve. As you can see, this has the three block wide staircase. And in fact, I was wrong. You can actually have the three block wide staircase. The only problem is that you'll walk straight into this brick wall, which is kind of like, you know, it's a bit random. So it's better off if you might, I mean, it might be better off. I don't know. You know, if you place a wall here, um, it might be a bit weird looking because, you know, you get this bit of extra space. Right, I need to give you a tour as well of the storage room before I forget. You know, it's a small storage room. Well, this is actually quite nice because it actually just goes round like that. Um, but the one we did was a bit wider. It had a bit of extra space through the back. So, uh, up to you what you want to do. But there you go. Just a nice storage room, guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's tutorial video. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. In part three, we shall be doing this floor, which is quite simple. We can actually, actually, probably might be able to finish off with part three completely. So guys, stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. This is Jerocraft, over and out.